was 22 years of age, Oliver Partington, and Sam Powell now. Powell, Harry Smith swings the pass out. Gildard, Marshall! Marshall in the corner. And Daryl Clark running. Clark, first the line of defence, and here is Austin, and Austin brought down, but gets the try. Hastings tried to deny it. Little grubber kick. And it's Cooper chasing it up. Cooper has claimed the try. Could it be Mike Cooper's first try of the season? Dreadful conditions. The ball's bouncing. Does he get downward pressure? No. No, no, he doesn't. Appearance for Warrington. How it Lulawai. They come to this side again, and it's the boots of Marshall. And it's the hands of Marshall. It's the boot of Smith, the hands of Marshall. And they're just inside Wigan territory. So Austin thumps the kick upfield and it bounces. Not into oh. touch. It doesn't bounce into touch. It bounces into the hands of Josh Charlie. Now then. Robert Hicks. Oh, what's happened here? Josh Charlie saying oh. go to the screen. So with Robin. Wigan. Hold. Because Marshall. Oh. There you go. Marshall. Stop him. And so Austin kicks cross field. And Mamo will chase it. The ball is loose, still loose. Oh, does Foolis get this, this ball down? Oh, Referee Robert Hicks has gone to the video oh, up again. Try. He reckons it's oh, a try. Both of the players competing for the ball. Gildart's under pressure. He can yeah. sense that Mamo's behind him. And Foolis, wow. That close. And Foolis has got the try that has put Warrington ahead with half time approaching. The club with Wigan's firepower probably expects better than that. And Austin, they're not giving him much time. They're not giving him much time there. No, Liam Byrne. Liam Byrne. Lee gets to him. 40 odd metres away. And we should add two more here. Just turned 33, Stefan Ratchford. And fires that one towards those close towards. Who came charging in and the pass, not a good one. And Marshall has to gather it. Marshall's got a kick on the head, but they're not going to hang around. Mano isn't going to hang around. Jake Mano won't be stopped. Mano will go all the way from the loose ball. He's an expert at that, is Jake Mano. We saw that with his hat trick. Oh, He's wow. got the try. No wow. doubt in the referee's mind. At the other end of the field, Liam Marshall is down. That kick and it comes up for Sam Powell. Well, Jason Clark still not moving well. And Mamo's going to get the uh, appreciation of the uh, Wigan players for his involvement there. And it's all on again. It's on again. Mamo. Oh, the card's coming Jake. out. Jake. And who's that for? Don't come, I'm not Mamo for the positive reinforcement crew. And Jake Mamo just blew a kiss. <laughs> back towards uh, the opposition, I think. And somebody else has, has got the card, and it's Partington. They've worked for one another. They're going to go to the air this time with a Harry Smith kick. The ball is going to come down for Bibby, and Jay Bibby is going to claim the try. The this is the angle. I agree with you, by the way, but I think it's sensible to just take a look. Now that tells a different story, doesn't it? But they're happy enough with it. I'm going to say it again. Wigan kicking to this left side of Warrington. Michael's here. Yeah, well, they will go. go for it now with Blake Austin, and Austin skims one over the bar. Well, it's Only not, just. It's not the best looking drop goal, but it's still the same outcome, isn't it? To the delight of the fans, it's one point. Three minutes to go, 13 points in front, and that'll do nicely for Austin and his teammates. It just manages to go over that crossbar. The final hooter goes. Mamo among the try scorers in a Warrington victory that was hard fought. Wigan made it difficult for them.